in this video we will learn the use of plot digitizer plot digitizer is used to extract the data from graph let us learn from the uh, demonstration suppose we have a graph like this it is a grain size distribution curve it is plotted from the data obtained from sieve analysis suppose if we want the original data of the graph for this purpose plot digitizer is used before uh, using the plot digitizer we have to take the screenshot of this for this screenshot we will use the snipping tool so here in the search button we have to type sni which is snipping tool which is already uh, in built in the computer so once you press new so check the screenshot which you want to uh, digitize like this suppose this is the area we want to digitize and save it save as uh, desktop suppose it is demo the name as demo and the format will be jpg save it now you can cut it or minimize it Okay. you can also minimize it now open the plot digitizer it is software it is available in the website uh, if you type plot digitizer you will get uh, many references from there you can download the plot digitizer so once you open the plot digitizer it will look like this here file edit analysis windows there is and in the second row calibrate recalibrate digitize and do and done so here open the file op and then press open and demo this is demo now uh, the graph which we want to digitize is on the uh, plot digitizer so first is we have to calibrate the axis x axis and y axis here you can see calibrate for calibration put the cursor here at uh, 0 0 you can say or the meeting point of x axis and y axis and click here you can see value for x minimum from graph value of x minimum is 0 0.001 and see this is not the normal uh, axis it is a logarithmic axis scale and so check this box logarithmic axis scale ok then here put the cursor on the maximum x value of value for x maximum we can see from the graph it is 100 ok we can see the red line means this x axis is digitized now we have to digitize y axis again put the cursor on the meeting point that is meeting point of x and y then value for y minimum that is also 0 0.00 sorry 00, 0 and this is normal graph so no need to check this box logarithmic axis scale ok now put the cursor on maximum of y ok value for y max that is also 100 
okay then you have to define the independent and dependent variable here the independent variable is x and dependent variable is y okay so we can see the blue line on y axis means x and y axis is calibrated now the second is you can see here digitize so how you digitize put the cursor on this point and click see you can see the hello dog then the next point then the next point suppose if you uh, uh, click wrongly then there is the option of undo so you can do undo again but it was uh, correct so here then click here click then see sometimes uh, you click but the yellow dot will not appear so be careful here then i'm doing little fast but uh, i will suggest you be careful while clicking clicking these points to get accurate results so once the digitization means uh, of the data is finished press on done here you you can see done you will get the x value and y value and from edit option you can copy or you can see simply control c suppose for select it and then edit copy so this is copied the data is copied now open the excel file and paste the data just a moment yes and plot the graph okay to check whether we have digitized it correctly or not so insert chart suppose if i am selecting this one see here the chart appears like this but you can see this is not the chart that we are we have digitized so bring that chart also to compare device the chart was on desktop that uh, chart label okay insert this is the graph the original graph and this is plotted graph this look this similar because the x axis here is logarithmic scale so you have to format the axis first check the x axis that logarithmic scale this this is like this and the minimum is 0.001 it's okay maximum is how much 100 so maximum is 100 okay and the, the axis value is 0.001 0.001 okay enter so the 0.001 maximum value is ha huh. now we can format the y value also y axis also here 0 maximum is 100 and this is a normal scale so no need to check this box logarithmic scale enter see the graph 
it will look almost similar see here almost similar graph okay so in this way we can digitize the data why we digitize this data because sometimes the original data is required for other calculations also that is why we digitize the data thank you thanks for watching please like comment share and subscribe my channel